What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jam Report. I'm your host, Pamela, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Shows. Brian, so... I guess the stench is reaching high enough for people to start complaining. <laughs> Number of things have happened, Brian. We got lawyers talking. We got OGs talking. There were two other things, Brian, that we mentioned that we wanted to discuss. Well, we got the man we got the man himself choosing dinos over vampires. Okay. And the other? We don't have anyone at the wheel of the car anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, <laughs> another director yeah. is no longer with... It's like, okay, yeah, cue, now... Cue the, cue the queen. Another one bites the dust, Okay, right? let's let's go one at a time. Quote, Mahershala Ali's hand-picked director, Jan DeMott. Quote, end quote. Continue. I'm not going to say it's further evidence. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just things that happen, Brian, that you have to wonder. Is he in the room where the sausage is being made, Brian? Is he in there when these decisions are being made? Because Brian, like if I say I got Brian to come with me to film, you know, he's going to direct this movie. And then two weeks later, be like, you know what, Brian, I don't think it's going to work. I don't know if... Herschel is putting his peoples through that. I don't know if that's the relationship he has with them. Or Jan was like, he probably was like, yo, I can't do it, man, because these dudes is just wanting me to do this, and I don't want to do that. Who knows? So that happens. Then Brian... Mahershala Ali speaks. Did we start getting rumblings of him going, jumping over to J J Jurassic World? That popped up in the last few weeks. So when okay. they when they changed, that story came out around the time when we found out Michael Green was off the writing job, and they were bringing in um, Eric Pearson, who's done a lot of done a lot of other work for Marvel. When that story hit, there was another story concurrent that Mahershala Ali was in negotiations to join the new Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movie, which went in front of the camera this week that project went from zero to in front of the camera in the last three months they got gareth edwards to direct they got scarlett johansson among the leads they got mahershala now over there part of the like part of the lead cast they're shooting that movie right now months three months probably. this 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 other, this other thing is we're in year five i mean can you blame the guy no, speaking of year five because we're not the only one mentioning this. <laughs> Mahershala Ali speaks through someone, Brian. Not, you know, you know, let me take this, Mahershala. No, this is Ali. Yo, I can't say nothing. You got to say something because I'm looking crazy out here. So he says those same thing. Five years, 2019. And yet, we have not what was the quote, Brian? Do you have it in there? So there was a piece, I think, on Hollywood Reporter that mentioned a number of projects. And one of the quotes was from Mahershala Ali's personal lawyer, Shelby Weiser. And all she said, it was like a one sentence regarding Mahershala Ali's involvement in Blade. Quote, that deal was in 2019. They still haven't shot it which is pretty much the craziest thing in my professional experience, end quote. Brian, how long have I been saying this is crazy? <laughs> and I don't know those people, but they feel the same thing I've been feeling for months, perhaps even years already, I think. I've just been vocal in the last few months, but every... For the past few years, I've been like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? Well, this is, this is, I'm telling you, we, this is where we need Maxim <laughs> in the tunnel, right? Mahershala pacing back and forth. I had a dream that was Blade. This is not it. This is not it. This is just, oh my, it's like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to compare it to, but. I know exactly what to compare it to because we started to, and now we have, I'm going to tie this story in right here. The Crow. That's what okay. you compare it to. Because 
just Google the production history on getting a new Crow movie made and how long it took and how many directors and how many writers. And now we finally got one that's coming I mean, out in August. Man. And what is the early buzz? What are the words they're saying? <laughs> There's two words. Un- one of them was unwatchable. And horrible. Wow. That's the parallel, which is why I said this movie was going to be a failure last time. And every I go on vacation for two weeks and like we got four new nails in the coffin. Okay. So now we have Mahershala Ali speaking, you know, through his through some instruments. His personal and I think that's lawyer. the key point. You're a hundred percent right. It's him mm-hmm. talking. Yeah. Oh yeah. Make he can't no talk. mistake. Make no <laughs> mistake. Yeah. And then the funniest thing came through, Brian. I don't. Did you text me on what I did? I text this to you. You texted it to me, so okay. you please read it because it's amazing. So uh, a good friend of mine, Melvin Taylor, who I have uh, been assisting in. He was putting together behind the scene videos for his short film uh, called Baldy. And he's in this world, Brian. And he sent me this. This was a tweet. He sent me a picture of a tweet that Wesley Snipes made, Brian. And he says, in his tweet, he says, Blade, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Then he has the the eyeballs. Folks still looking for that secret sauce. Riding snowmobiles in traffic. Kind of rough. Daywalkers make it look easy, don't they? I'm telling you, man, Wesley Snipe is laughing. I'm pretty sure they had him on the call. Like, you know, that they were possibly going to do something. Maybe. I don't know. And then... Blake, and then Marshall Ali made the phone call and then then it was like okay block this dude <laughs> you know what I'm saying so he is a this there's no way after this even after this Brian even this is even more confirmation that he cannot do this film he cannot do it not because he can't but because he shouldn't Brian I want to get back to one point, which is the director. So to review along the way here, Nick Pizzolatto was the handpicked screenwriter from True Detective who wrote for Mahershala Ali. Ali brings him in. His draft gets written. Kevin Feige said, no. Okay. Tossed it out. That happened. Mahershala Ali picks the new director after Basim Tarak left right before they were going to shoot the first time. And now that guy's gone. Shane Black, go ahead. The thing that struck me in the Yon Demong story is how many mentions and everywhere it says, oh, it was amicable. Oh, it was amicable. Oh, it was amicable. Anytime someone says that that often, that's like the, you know, that's like the not to disrespect you, but I'm about to disrespect you. I think the reason it says that is because Marvel is having so many broader issues. Like they, like, you know, Marvel and Sony are having a devil of a time getting someone to direct Spider-Man four. Right. That's like, so they're having problems. So they need mouse Aganda to make it seem like they're not having creative differences with their directors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Somehow, I don't think that this guy would put be Mahershala's guy and put in as much time as he did. And in theory, we are supposed to be less than three months away from them shooting. And now he quits and it's all good. Yeah. That's fishy. I don't buy it. Uh-uh. I don't buy that that was amicable. And right after they, right after they dropped the screenwriter... And don't forget, that's right after when Michael Green was writing it. That was when Herschelah gave that quote a couple months ago where he said, like, I'm actually finally happy with the direction we're going in. Like, I'm pretty happy with things. 
So that was a few months ago. Yeah. And now the writer and the director who were responsible for him saying that are both off the project. I said, Brian, in the next two weeks, Mahershala Ali is going to announce that he's not going to make this movie. Because what are we waiting for? Well, he's not, right? Like, it, he he's shooting Jurassic World. So now, schedule-wise, could he do both? Sure. But I'm just saying... He took the short, he took the bird in hand. He he's like, this is a movie getting made, a prestige movie, blockbuster franchise IP getting made. I'm in. Due to scheduling uh, differences, we cannot be making. This. There, there it is, there it is, there it is. This, this movie this movie is either not getting made or it's going to be a spectacular crow level failure if it does. Like if it gets made, it's not going to be with Ali. That's what that's that's what I've said forever. <laughs> And nah. that's what I think is still going to continue because they still have Midnight Suns if they want to continue. But I am so out of Marvel, Brian, because of other stuff that we're going to talk about later, Brian. I'm done with Marvel. But go ahead. You know, we've been talking and pulling our hair out as we see all these stories and these rumors. And we've kind of both landed on this, like, what is so hard about this? Right? Like, what is really so... Like, if you want to make a decent starting point for Blade, this is not that complicated. In terms of entertainment. Some might say it is, Brian, because of the world that they're bringing into, right? They're, they're bringing in this world into a, a universe that has so many knowledgeable people that how do they slip under the radar? But that, so that's an interconnectedness problem, though. Right? Yes. That's an MCU, everything is linked, we can't <laughs> make standalone yeah. stuff problem. That's not yeah. a Blade-specific problem, in my opinion. If all mm -hmm. you were going to do is like, I just want to make a kick-ass Blade movie, I don't think the concepts or the tenets of that are that hard. And with the amount of talent that has been on this project and then gone off it, you know that that exact conversation has been had in that room, which tells me they don't want to make that movie. They don't want to make the simple, straightforward action kick-ass movie, which is why we keep hearing all the stuff about Blade's daughter, which is why we keep hearing all the stuff about life lessons. And as Mr. Blade, Mr. Snipes himself put it in the original movie, some mother effers just always want to ice skate uphill. That's what they're doing. And as long as they want to do that, oh, this movie is snap. not going to happen. Yeah. Nothing is good here, Pablo. Nothing is good. Yeah, yeah. And Nothing I think I think you're right. Good. I think I think we're in the ninth inning of Mahershala Ali's oh, tenure yeah. as Blade. He had to call his lawyer, yo. <laughs> either either his lawyer be like, "Yo, what's going on, yo? You gonna say something? You want me to say something? <laughs> Whatever." A conversation was had. And it I wasn't. Know if she, yeah, I want to know if she gave that quote while she was like reviewing the contract to see where he can get out. Hey, is him in doing Jurassic World and them saying scheduling? That's it. That's the easiest way to get out. But we know, we know. If you've been watching the Nerd Gem Report, you know that everything that we've been talking about has been leading to this moment. And when it gets announced. You gonna say to yourself, Marcellus Wallace was right. <laughs> I had no problem with that, Mr. Wallace. Because yo, it's like, come on, yo. And I know Mahershala. Listen, I know he wanted to do this movie. Cause I would have said, yo, let's get Mahershala to do it because he's perfect for it, right? But it seems to be them not. They don't have this top that on their priority list. I'm just saying. It's evident that it's not on their priority list. And it doesn't fit with what they're trying to do. Right now, it's all about Secret Wars. And that's it. And whatever Fantastic stuff they Four. got going on. Fantastic Four, I think, is the other thing they are. And maybe the, maybe the, the launch pad for the mutants. Which we have, we have to sort of discuss as well, Brian, um, with some of the stuff that's come out lately. But there it is. Legend Report. The show goes on! Yeah!